Joining me now, Michael Alcazar, retired NYPD detective and adjunct professor at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, so there's never sort of one reason, one single reason why something like this happens. But when you look at the big picture here, homicides down, what do you think the cause is? I think it's uh, our police officers have remained steadfast to fight the defund the police movement. Initially, they were probably apprehensive, Dan, because of the defund the police. We've saw we've seen videos of police officers getting attacked, bricks being thrown at them, bottles being thrown with, at them during that time, and and many of those communities supported the defund the police. But they realized they quickly realized that their their their, their neighborhoods are going to crap, and they needed their police officers. So. The police officers that did not quit, that did not move somewhere else, they 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 did the job. They they stayed on patrol, and the communities came back and started supporting their police officers. So yeah, uh, they're not as apprehensive. The police and they're doing their job. And what do you see happening uh, from here? Do you see this? I mean, look, we've been talking for a while about police having trouble with recruiting, et cetera. Is something like this? Do you think going to help that? Yeah, I mean. You know, morale is still pretty low for a lot of police departments, but a lot of these agencies are supporting their police officers. Um, so I think it's going to hopefully turn around. I mean, summer's coming. Summer's always historically when crime spikes. But a lot of agencies like the NYPD are creating these units to address crime in these larger cities. Um, yeah. I think they're go. I think they're going to go back to like plain clothes police officers. I've always said that yeah. it's a valuable tool. They rebranded anti crime. They're putting in different uniforms. But the reality is, we have to make bad guys uncomfortable. Yeah, we need like, undercovers. It's just kind of sad that most people in in the media. That's the world I live in. Can't just say this is great news, right? It's not solved. The crime problems aren't solved across the country, but. It's a trend that we should be appreciating, and we should be appreciating it because of the hard work the police officers are doing. Um, and yet, you know, it doesn't fit in with the partisan narratives, and that's not the focus when it comes to day-to-day -day cops who are dealing with this stuff every day. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. The the men and women in blue are doing the job. They're underappreciated. And they still remain. They still do the job to the best of their ability. So we should really show them more support. I think more yep. support will cause more crime to go down. And, 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 and the trend, hopefully, will keep going where we go back to pre-pandemic years. Yep. One, one of my cop uh, friends, when I said to him, what can people do to show police that they appreciate it? He said, just say thanks. He goes, just when you see 100%. him on the street, just say thank you. He goes, I know a lot of the cops will act like tough guys and say that they don't care. He goes, they care. They care. Just tell them thank you. <laughs> uh, Michael Alcazar, thank you very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.